Welcome to Lab 5.3.1.4 from Big Data and Analytics course from Cisco. This lab is about advanced data visualization and we will see how to draw or analyze or visualize the data in an advanced way. It means that we are going to use a new module called Folium and it's beside the Bandas NumPy that we already used uh, before. One more thing also on this lab, you are going to learn how to use a SQLite, so how to read the data from a database and convert it to a data frame, then you will be able to work with it as um, we used to do till now. Okay, so what is the first goal? First, we have a database. We will learn how to connect. To, uh, we already learned how to connect to the database and use it. This is not a topic. There is nothing new here. Um, but the new thing is how to import or convert a database or a data from a database into a data frame and um, through pandas. Okay, so the first one here is importing the data. I, the one here that uh, we are going to uh, skip for, for now. And by the way, I'm using again, as you see here, Google Colab, and I already uploaded the files that uh, for, um, I'm going to use in this lab. And you will also find uh, this, the file, this file in the description box. So you can also use it and you, I will give you or I will support you or provide you the files that you are uh, going to work with them. So these files here. However, uh, I also encourage you to do the, this lab by yourself. And if you will have a question or questions, then please bring them to the lab. All right. So here, after importing the modules, then we connect to the database. The path to the database, I changed it here. So for this purpose, then you upload the file to Google Colab and then copy path. And then paste it here and then connect um, to the database and then assign a cursor that you can reach to the database. And after that, we are going to, or you will make a query to query all the data from the database and then convert the data, the query into a Bandas data frame using a method called read SQL. And then you specify the query and the connection. And here is the DF, the data frame, to make sure that the data frame is already uh, or imported in the correct way, then you use the df.head. All right. So as you can see, first we need to prepare the data and the first point that we need, we need to drop this index. We don't need it here because it's not a real index, it's just a column. So to drop it, you can drop this uh, using the drop method. And, and access is one and in place three from the file itself. And after that, we you also will import a JSON uh, file, like JSON data from a JSON file. Uh, it means here that you also need to import the file from here and then use a method called readJSON, which is already available in Pandas. And you have uh, the data format or data frame in a form of also uh, from JSON file. Okay, there is here. So one next step, what we need to do, actually we need to create a new data frame and the new data frame is going to be called DFP and the content of this new data frame is going to be the area and the average B. All right, so here is the area and the average B and then you name, rename the columns to be area to be LI code, as you can see here. All right, so I'm going to go fast and fast because the file is there um, in the description box, however. So here we can print the minimum and the maximum value in the average P. There is 0 and uh, 11. So here also we can calculate the bins that we need to generate. And now to, let's generate, visualize the data. You can, uh, here is the modification on the file that uh, you are need to see because the version here of the volume is not the same uh, like the version when they prepared the, the the lab here is also that their problem that there was some thing uh, wrong in the data as you can see uh, to make sure or to examine the data in a good way so draw the data and here is something 
um, there is a drop which is um, unusual so to check exactly what is why is here zero so you like uh, can um, print the value of which actually what is the reason of this value equals zero so you will have then the date time zero zero which is not expected we don't need to have date time here so as long as this is a uh, wrong um, or something wrong in the data itself so you can fix it by drop this data itself from here and then generate the figures again now the uh, figure is much nicer and then you can continue calculate the pins the figures and you can get the output here all right so that's all with this lab so please do the lab by yourself and um, let me know if you will have any question or questions thank you and i see you in the next lab